there, friends and fellow crafters. It's Leanne, and I'm here today getting inky. Uh, this is going to be part of the Summer Lovin' Card Hop over on Instagram, as well as the Saturday Under the Sea Card Hop on Instagram. So, as you can see already, I'm going to be using alcohol inks. First, I have a panel of Yupo paper down here, and I am using Aqua sailboat blue and citrus and i just put those on my uh alcohol ink applicator spread that around and now i decided to bring in some purple twilight don't know why spreading it around can't really see it that well um it's kind of trying to make mud so i decided to bring back my other colors and work on that again and just stick with the C color. So I'm just going to keep blending it till I get a color blend that I like. And I love the fact that this alcohol ink dries so fast. So I just took that paper, threw it away, and bring out a Hero Arts stamp. And this is the Jellyfish Party background. I'm using my We, we Are Memory Keepers stamp platform for this. Just because for me it's the easiest when I'm using a 6x6. Six six. So I use some uh, Gina K uh, tape runner to hold my panel down. Now I'm going to ink up my paper with the Hero Arts Unicorn pigment ink. I thought that might work and do what I wanted it to do. But it doesn't. So I end up um, trying that a couple of times. And I'm just not liking the way it looks, so I bring out the good old Versamark. Ink that up. Don't even bother cleaning it first. Ink it up. Plop it down. And there we go. Now I'm going to bring in my Recollections Snow. This is a fine detail embossing powder. And this is actually my favorite white embossing powder that I have right now. And so, you know, I've been told that you can't heat emboss on Yupo paper. And this is just the regular alcohol ink Yupo. But I decided to try it. And so now I'm bringing in my heat tool. And I just, I love the way this turns out. Now this Yupo paper is... Uh, non-porous water resistant surface it is a 86 pound surface paper uh, it's recyclable synthetic paper it's bright white with a smooth finish but as you can tell it's no longer white works great with the alcohol inks the mixatives and the blending solution um, and i only use the alcohol inks today didn't decide to go with the blending solution so what I've done now is I've cut a black panel that I'm going to use under this to set it apart from my uh, my white uh, card base, which my card base is at A2, four and a quarter by five and a half top folding. I do end up cutting it down just a bit. When it's done, my card base is actually going to be a four by five and a half. Um, just because my panel was a little smaller, so I wanted to make it fit right. So this is an old uh, stamp set that I'm using for the sentiment from Scrapping for Less. Uh, this was in a card kit, I believe it was June 2019. It was the, um, the one with all the sea buddies and the ocean and things like that. So I'm stamping out my sentiment, which says, let's head to the beach. Put that on black cardstock, again with the white embossing powder. Heat that up. And you did see me use my uh, embossing bag from Scrap Perfect so that the embossing powder didn't stick to the black paper because it really tends to do that. So I've cut my panel down for my sentiment to the size that I wanted it. I am off screen and I do apologize for that. I am adding some foam tape 
to the back and place my sentiment and with that my card is complete hop along leave your comments have a great day